Good evening everybody, just waiting for people to join us and then we can start. Hello Julie, how are you? Lovely to speak to you yesterday. Hiya Bob, you alright mate? I'm just going to wait for a people to come, a few people to come and join us, then we'll start. It's a very, very simple thing going on tonight. That I feel drawn by my guides to do. It's what we call, many of us call, sitting in the power. It's a lot of what. No, and it's good, just good to sit in the power. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Mary. Good. I've already said, Bob. Bring them on camera. No. Oh, Scarlett. Lovely to see you here, long time no see. Hello Sean. Oh Lucy. Like I say, I'll wait for a few more people to join us and um, then we shall begin. Oh Barbara. Oh Sarah. Oh Sylvia. Oh, Tracy. Give it a couple more minutes. Everybody who wants to be here should be here. Like I was saying just now, it's going to be just a very simple thing tonight. Um, that I do and many others do, because sitting in the powers, sitting in the power of spirit, and uh, my guides asked me to demonstrate it. It can be a very, very healing thing, having our angels, guides and loved ones around us. Hiya Mary. This is not about giving messages, Mary. If anything, this is about, you know, interacting with spirit and being with spirit. Oh, Colin, lovely to see you. I did say on the advert that this wasn't a messages night, you know. But Mary, if you want to sit and watch, you may watch. You may see a loved one. Oh, Jacqueline. Tonight's going to be a little bit of transfiguration. I'm not going to be in trance. Um, and just to see, as I ask spirit to come around me, and to be with me, and to sit in the power with him. So you can see spirit energy. It's a very healing thing. I find it to be a very healing thing when my angels and my guides, my loved ones, come around. And as like with spirit development and being with spirit and walking with spirit and our subject, um. You have to prepare. You know, it's like with trance. You can't just say, right, I'm going to go into trance or 
when you're sitting in circle you know you can't just say right we're going to have a circle you have to prepare the room you have to prepare yourself you know and the best way to prepare a room for spiritual development is is to build as much loving energy as much light-hearted energy as you can within the room because remember this earth to spirit is like a dustbin so the spirit work is the vibration of love so we have to create a loving environment for them to come into we as mediums and healers we have to put ourselves to one side all our aches and pains and woes have to be put to one side so that we can communicate with spirit clearly it's like tonight, I mean, um, me and the wife had the cabinet set up by quarter to seven and we've been playing the music and building the energy up and I've been drawing energy from what we call God um, to create that loving energy within the room. And what I do, and what many others do, before we demonstrate, or we sit in circle, or we just want to be with our loved ones for a little while, is what we call sitting in the power. But, you know, for demonstration-wise, you know, me and many others meditate. But um, tonight, if you'd like to join me, we can just sit in the power for a little while. I've set the cabinet up, and the... Um, put the red light on just so you can see more than anything else but I must stress this is not a trance night and this is not a night where I'm going to be giving out messages okay I'm sorry about that but I did state that in the advert um, but this is more about being with spirit and feeling the closeness with spirit it's like I say about the ghost hunting side of things you don't have to hunt spirit they're all around us yeah, you know, our guides, our angels and our loved ones are all around us. And, and this sitting in the power is just a perfect example of that. Okay, 25 people. Um, I can see lots of hearts. That's love. Keep the love coming. And, um, no, Claire. And what I'll do is an open prayer, opening prayer. And I'll ask Spirit to come and join us. Okay. And if you just want to watch or if you want to join in in at home just say a little prayer for yourselves and ask for your angels your guides and your loved ones to come around you and just spend that time you just become as peaceful and as loving as possible okay turn the radio off turn the tv off you know have no external noise and just sit there quietly and peaceful because to be honest when I want to be quiet and at peace and find that oneness with spirit, um, I sit in the power. Okay? So I'm just sharing that with you all. Okay? But I'll do an opening prayer. Right. I can't see what's being written now because I've got my glasses off and... Um, And I'll have my eyes shut throughout, okay? But this is what I call coming into the moment. Where the past doesn't matter. The future doesn't matter. All that matters is now. And realising that within this moment, I have love and peace all around me thank you great spirit of light and love angels guides loved ones i ask for your loving protection to be around myself this cabinet my lovely wife veronica and all that are joining us tonight i ask that those that wish to join us by sitting in the power, feel the love and the healing and the peace 
of spirit. Amen. Right, if you just all like, just like to watch, please. Afterwards, I will ask any questions or ask what you may or may not have seen or felt. Okay, but just get yourselves as peaceful and as quiet as possible and just sit within the moment. As I said, the past doesn't matter. The future does not matter. All that matters is now and the peace that is naturally all around us. Thank you.
If you feel the need for healing, please ask for healing and it will be given.
May all those watching feel the unconditional love of spirit come all around them.
for those of you that are joining me I hope you can sense the loved ones that are around you and your guides that are around you and your angels that are around you and know truly that we are never alone know truly that our loved ones walk beside us in life and want us to live the best life that we can to live the happiest life that we can because happiness is more important than success to be inwardly happy is worth more than wealth to be inwardly content is worth more than wealth be able to enjoy the beauty of life and to know that you can make a beautiful contribution to life that is worth more than wealth I say from my loved ones in spirit Life is for living. In all aspects of life, in spirit and on the earth, life is for living to its full potential. Have you asked yourselves, are you living to your full potential? Or are you worried, weighed down by your troubles and your ill health? Please think of how you can improve on your own potential and how you could contribute in a loving way to life and in doing so you will be the beauty of life itself Please take the time to step aside from life for a few moments to rest and relax. Step in to the moment ask for your loved ones to come around you feel the unconditional love of your loved ones filling you guiding you through your intuition become at peace within the moment with them as they are at peace and you will feel rejuvenated You will 
all think of the spirit realms as being far away from yourselves, as being unreachable. The realms of spirit are all around you. The love of spirit is all around you. The healing energies of spirit is all around you. All you have to do is ask. But for a moment, you need to put your worries and your illnesses to one side. So step into that moment to be with spirit and your loved ones. And fill yourself with that divine peace and that eternal unconditional love. Blessings to you all. psychic breezes around me my granddad is with me this cabinet is filled with love and that love is being sent to you all to fill you to heal you to guide you and to uplift you
Hello everybody. I don't know about anybody else, that was lovely. I was just repeating the words that Spirit was saying to me. Um, right now I've got right now I've got a Margaret with me and she used to have like an old fashioned fridge and she's talking about the motor and it used to when the motor used to kick in it used to shake shake the fridge oh hi Gail alright I hope you join me with that ok bless you Bieber long time no see Bieber I was thinking of another Bieber yeah Right. Yeah. Okay. I hope you experience the love and the peace of spirit because this cabinet is filled with it and those those that uh, joined in with me, I just really hope that you felt the love and the peace of spirit. Okay, I'll bring you all closer into me now. Okay. Did anybody feel any benefit from that? It was my guides that asked me to... Um... Oh, hiya, Natalie. Um... Oh, brilliant. All right, all I was doing is sitting here and enjoying the peace of the moment. And being with spirit, so I'm hoping you all got the same from that. Healing was sent out, Bieber. All right. Thank you, Sylvia. That's what, yeah, very calm and peaceful. That's what I was hoping to achieve around you. Oh, that's brilliant, Shelley. That's brilliant. Hi Natalie. Hi Natalie Spooner. Yeah, that, that's what I intended to do, Chloe F. Smiley. Lovely to see you here, mate. Um, that's what I intended to do, to just bring that love and peace and spirit in for a few people. To join with me and sit in the power. And that's it, because I just feel and that we all live, even though everything's slowed down with lockdown, we all live, we all live a fast-paced life, and life has its pressures and worries and woes, and it's just nice to sit in the peace and the love of spirit. And this is what I'm glad it's gone, Colin. All right, because when you guys are sitting at home and joining with me. Um, and coming into the peace with spirit and asking spirit to come around you, you are actually connecting to this cabinet, I feel. So, and it, there was just so much healing being sent out as well. And I'm glad your shoulders feeling better. Oh, in, in both your shoulders. Yeah, I'm glad your shoulders are feeling better, Colin. Oh, Sharon, lovely to see you here. I oh, know I needed it, Shelley. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm glad those that come um, felt some benefit of it. Okay. Because believe it or not, I have my stresses in life and it's good. Hello, Kelly. Lovely to see you here. It's um, lovely just to step out of the rat, rat race. Lucy Price, shall I tell you what pink is the colour for? Pink, pink means love. In spirit, it means love. So when spirit show you that colour, it means love. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why I'm red cloud, Sharon. Okay. I'm okay, Victoria. It, Victoria Cow, it weren't a trance and all the rest of it. You know, um, it was just, it was just, you know, um, 
obviously a bit of transfiguration was being involved but it was it, it was being in the power of the spirit and building up the energy and sending it out to people hiya mandy mandy merritt's here darling yes i know yeah oh you know you're watching all right <laughs> my wife's sitting over there watching all right but, <laughs> but um yeah any questions I'm really pleased tonight, it's been, I did wonder how it'd go because I've never done this before publicly online. Um, and if Chloe's about, who sits in my circle, um, this is why we have the half hour beforehand. I haven't seen you. When was the last time I see you? It, it was the, at the um, Eternal Spirit. Um, I've done a demonstration of me mediumship on Eternal Spirit, wasn't it? I think that's the last time I saw you, Victoria. I gave you a message, I believe. Yeah, I like having the St. Helens crew with me. Were you there for my trance, Victoria, which I did the other night for Eternal Spirit? Oh, I... Uh, Hello Tim, you're right, lovely to see you. Um, are you doing a live tomorrow? What a mediumship, Victoria. No, I'm on night shift tomorrow night, so I'm going to miss it sadly. But oh, that's a shame. It's on YouTube if you want to see that trance, Victoria. Okay, and I've got it posted on the thing. Alright. Well, I wish you all the best. You and your inspirers all the best, Victoria. And I'm sure you'll have a lovely evening. Alright. I will be, I'll be at work, so I can't tune in. But I will be rooting for you. Alright, I might even message you to ask you how you get on. How's that? Kelly, I hope that feeling of anxiousness subsides. I don't know how long you've been with us, Kelly Hurst, but um, the energies, um, the healing energies that, were, that was coming out of the um, cabinet would have would have helped you to calm down. Yeah, he's he's lovely, my red cloud, Sharon Lamb. Okay. And just from that Sharon Lane you can see the power and the energy of spirit. Just before lockdown. I can't wait to be back out there. Yeah, it is lovely Shelley. And I hope we can get all back to um developing soon. Alright. Oh, you've only been here five minutes. Pity you weren't here at eight o'clock, all right? But I'm, go I'm going to ask now for Spirit to come around you and give you some healing for your anx anxiousness, Ke Kelly Hurst. Okay, Kelly Hurst. Kelly, I've just asked for you to receive healing. So if you can sit back in your armchair or lie down on your settee, just lay there and be quiet for a little while. I'm sure you will get that healing. I'm glad you got something from that, Hannah. That's brilliant. Yeah, Sharon. <laughs> Yeah, you're obviously see everything now, that's good. So you've developed a bit of spirit vision, that's good. My wife sees everything as well. But, you know, I don't mean in the spirit way, but she sees everything I do. <laughs> that's a joke. Yeah, just lie down and relax and just ask for your healing guys to come around you, Kelly. And Natalie Spooner's going to send healing. <coughs> Natalie Spooner, I want 
to um, get in touch with you to ask you about doing a joint demonstration of mediumship with me one evening via Zoom. If you would like to join me, let me know. All right? You're, all you got to do is just lay down or sit down comfortable, Kelly. And um, don't worry about the past because it's already happened. Don't worry about the future because it's already happened. All right? And just naturally realise that there's peace and quiet and comfort all around you. And ask healing guides for, to give you healing. That's lovely, Sylvia. So you've got Natalie and Sylvia sending you healing now, Kelly. So it's very important you lie down or sit down and just relax. Okay? Oh, brilliant. Glad you enjoyed it, Sharon. I'm doing three more trances that I'm booked for. Um, one in April and two in May. But I, I will be posting it. Oh, you got three people sending you healing now, Callie. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, Natalie Spoon, I'm going to message you as soon as I've got a space available because I lead a busy life like everybody else. So when I've got the space and the time, I'll message you. And if we if we can set up a mutual date to do a, to do a Zoom demonstration of mediumship, all right, and um, we'll do it. Okay. We just need to discuss dates, that's all. You're very welcome. See you, Sharon. Take care. Good night. Yeah, you're having a crazy week, are you, Kelly? Yeah, I know that feeling. Um, just lie there and be quiet now. And let... The healing guides and these lovely ladies send you some beautiful healing. Good night, Bob. Lovely to have you here. You keep up the good work with your earth healing, mate. I'm actually looking forward to working with Natalie, Sylvia. I'm glad she said yes. Okay. Just lie down or sit down and be quiet. Let that healing happen, Kelly. Right, in a few moments I'll do the closing prayer. As you can probably see, you know, when we sit down with spirit and we just um, quieten ourselves and we ask for our loved ones and our angels and our guides to join us, it doesn't, it doesn't take a minute. What I'm going to do, Kelly... I'm going to put you on my healing list as well, and I'll, I'll send I'll send you out some healing too. Healing is very much needed, um, Bieber. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, because with one thing and another, what's going on in the world? And night, Victoria. Lovely to see you here, mate. Give my love to uh, Marie and all in on in the St. Helens Massive. All right. Um, yeah, with lockdown and everything that's going on with that and people losing their jobs and people being ill and all the worry over that. Okay. I thought you was lying down and being quiet, Kelly, but never mind. All right. Um... I was going to say, you know, once we sit 
and we become quiet and we pray and we ask for protection and we ask for our angels, guides and our loved ones to come, come around us. It's amazing. They're there in an instant. All right. I just really want Kelly Hurst to just become as peaceful and as quiet as possible and to let that healing work through her because I really want it to work. I'm not being patronising, but good girl, Kelly. All right. I'll give it a few minutes to let that healing work, and then I'll do a closing prayer. That's lovely, Sylvia. And you know what I like about tonight? We're working together. And that's important. The more we all work together with a vibration of love, the better we can make this world, you know. And that's what I really like about tonight, apart from the love and the peace I've personally felt, is that, you know, there's ladies sending Ke Kelly healing, there's angels and guides give, giving Kelly healing, and through tonight we've all been working together to generate love and peace and to feel that love and peace. It's been lovely. I'm glad my guides asked me to do it now. I'm glad I wish my flatulence would disappear. Or my wife wishes my flatulence would disappear. <laughs> I thought it was just an old age thing. You're a young girl, Hannah. I'll tell you what would do you good, um, Kelly. Following on from Natalie Spooner's suggestion, buy some bergamot oil. They've got it in most health shops. And it vibrates on the colour green, which is green is for peace. And... You know, just two or three drops in your bath of a night. That will help you become calm. Thank you, Hannah. There you go. Um, Natalie Spoon is just... Um, Natalie Spoon has just endorsed um, bergamot for me. So try it. Just go into the health shop and ask for bergamot oil. Just two or three drops in your bath and that will really help you. All right. Um, Lucy, it's been a pleasure to have you here and I'm glad you got something from it. Okay. And you sleep well. I haven't heard of Rescue Remedy, Sylvia. I'll have to look that up. How are you feeling now, Kelly? Because that healing should have started working.
Good night, gal. And thanks for coming along, and I'm glad you got something from it. Chamomile tea is good. Yes, Hannah. Oh, you see, Nim, the back, back of flowers remedies. Okay. Yeah, flowers have been known for centuries to have loads of healing properties. So, yeah, get some of that. Right. I'm going to close in prayer now. And once again, thank you all for joining me and spirit. And thank you. Well, just thank you. It's, I'm really over the moon with what's happened tonight. Okay. Great spirit of light and love. Angels, guides, loved ones. We thank you for being around us. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your love. And we thank you for your healing energies. We thank you for joining with us tonight. And for all the love and care and peace and healing that you've brought. I ask for a blessing on each and every head and arm represented here tonight. They can walk forward in life in your love, your care, your protection, and your teaching. I ask that any power that's been created here tonight, may it go from this cabinet to be used to heal and uplift wherever it may be needed. Amen. Oh, Katie, you missed it. We will be judging on tonight. I'm going to do another one. All right, Katie, so keep your eye out for it. Because three or four people have said they've really benefited from it. Benefited from it. Okay? All right? Thank you. Kelly Hurst, if you can let me know how you're feeling. Hi oh, Helen, we're just about to knock off now. But stay tuned, Helen, because I've invited Natalie to um, come and do a, a, a shared evening of mediumship with us. Well, yeah, I hope you can come along next time. I'm doing a trance April the 10th for Centre of the Open Heart. So I'm hoping you can join for that one. Ah, uh, Marie, we're just finishing. But it's lovely to see you here, Marie. All right. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll post a video and... um Yeah, and if anybody can get anything from that video, that would be great. But I'll post a video. I'm probably going to put this video on YouTube, all right? Okay. But anyway, love and blessings to you all. I've got to say good night because um, the wife's got to get up early for work in the morning. And I don't want to get told off for keeping her up. All right? But anyway... Um, Thank you for joining me, and it's love, and just from tonight, know that spirit are all around you, and you can just get a sense of their love and their energy, okay, thank you all, good night, you're welcome, good night, good night Bieber.